The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you very much for the privilege we have to receive from you. We thank you for the joy of a new year. We appreciate you for your grace and your mercy that has been available to sustain us and to guide us through. Lord, at this time, we ask you to minister to us that which is your express will. In Jesus' name, amen. The year is still young. The year is still fresh. So if I say Happy New Year, it's still very much in place. So I want to wish every viewer out there a very happy uh, 2021. We thank God for 2020. It was a very, very uh, challenging year. And uh, a year in which our own generation uh, recorded history. Why is that so? Uh, it's not every generation that is uh, privileged to witness a pandemic, if we can call it a privilege. So we witness the pandemic, and everyone who can hear me is a product of God's faithfulness because we did not die in the pandemic. As long as you can hear this, it's because you are alive. And that's because the Lord kept us some way, somehow, on account of his love and mercy. So I want to congratulate every one of us out there. Now, the year is still young, and so I'm sharing on what I've called a winning strategy. What do you mean by a strategy? A strategy is a specific plan tailored to achieve a specific goal. So a specific plan for a specific goal. That's a strategy. And in strategic thinking, you walk from the answer back to the problem. You don't take it from the problem to the answer. You walk from the solution to the problem. So, and God is a strategist. Now, we will do well if we all uh, embrace a winning strategy for the year 2021. Let's read uh, something from the Bible. But before we read, let me quickly say this, that in life, there are always things to start. In life, there are always things to stop. In life, there are always things to continue. So three things about life, winning strategy. And we must embrace this strategy I'm talking about. You must identify the things you want to start this year or the things you ought to start. You must identify the things you ought to stop this year. You must identify the things you ought to continue. So things that we must start, things that we must stop, and things that we must continue because that is the summary of life. Okay, now what are those things that we are to uh, stop? Or what are those things that we are to start? Let's bring out an essential nature of, of God the Father. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. So I'm the start and the end. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. See the Lord. I'm just reading the A part. Revelation chapter 1 verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. So God is the first. God is the last. So things to start, things to stop. God is the one. Now, what are we to start? We're to start things that are in line with the will of God for our lives this year. We're to start things that will take us to the destination we desire in our hearts to get to this year. We're to start things that we know are right, things that are noble, things that are noteworthy, praiseworthy, things that are virtue. We're to start them. What are the things we are to stop? We're to stop the things that don't glorify God. We're to stop being unfaithful. We're to stop sinning. If sin had been the problem, stop it. Every lifestyle that you know negates the word of God, we are to stop them. We are to desist from such things. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. It says, for if we go on sinning deliberately, after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. So we can't continue to sin and say grace shall abound. We are to stop sinning because God expects us to be like that. And what are the things we are to continue? We are to continue to walk in love. We are to continue to be faithful. We are to continue to be diligent in things of God. We are to continue to love one another. We are to continue to, to serve God with our lives. And this way, I can assure you, as simple as this thing sound, they will take us very far this year. I will expect us in church tomorrow. God bless you. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vinebrand Church, Queen School Road, Apata Giari, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.